India to chair G20 in 2018. India is going to chair Group of 20 Nations Forum in year 2018, and New Delhi could be the host of the prestigious annual G20 Summit. This decision was taken by G20 Forum earlier in September 2015 which was chaired by Turkey. Turkey will hand over the chair for the next year that is 2016 to China and in 2017 Germany is going to chair it. G20 is the premier forum for global economic and financial cooperation. Being a forum it does not have any permanent secretariat or management and administrative structure. Every year one nation holds the chair of G20 known as presidency which rotates annually among its member groups. The presidency establishes a temporary secretariat for the duration till it holds the chair. The forum brings together 20 nations that represent world's major advanced and emerging economies, representing around 85% of global GDP. Vishan Muganathan sworn in as 17th Governor of Manipur Vishan Muganathan has sworn in as the 17th Governor of Manipur after taking oath at ceremony held at Raj Bhavan. He succeeded Dr. Sihed Ahmed who had died in late in September 2015. Palestinian flag hoisted at UN headquarters for the first time. Palestinian flag was raised for the first time at United Nations headquarters in New York on 30 September 2015. The politically sensitive flag raising ceremony took place at 1.16 p.m. at the UN's Rose Garden. The flag hosting raising ceremony was attended by the President of the Palestinian Authority Mamoud Abbas. Earlier on 10 September 2015, United Nations General Assembly overwhelmingly approved the resolution on raising of flags by non-member observer states. Palestine was granted the status of a non-member observer state by the UNGA in 2012. International Day of Older Persons Observed Across the World The International Day of Older Persons was on 1 October 2015 observed across the world with the theme Sustainability and Age Inclusiveness in the Urban Environment. China launched 20th satellite for its Du navigation system. China on 30 September 2015 launched a 20th new generation satellite into orbit that will support its global navigation and positioning network. The satellite was launched from Xiqing Satellite Launch Center in the southwestern province of Sichuan. A long March 3B carrier rocket carried the satellite. The launch of the 20th satellite for the Du navigation satellite system has put China one step closer to providing an alternative alternative to the U.S. operated global positioning system. Besides, it was the first time that the satellite featured a hydrogen atomic clock. Also, multiple tests related to the clock will be done. Hina Sai who wins gold medal at Asian Air Gun Championships. India's ace shooter Hina Sai who has clinched a gold medal in the 10-meter air pistol event of the Asian Air Gun Championships in New Delhi. In this event, Hina shot a total of 197.8 points to finish at the top of the podium to win the gold medal. Shwarta Singh of India by scoring total of 197 points won silver medal, while South Korea's Seon Kim won the bronze medal. It should be noted that Hina Sai who is former world number one and was India's first pistol shooter to be ranked number one in the world. Google Incorporated has morphed into Alphabet Incorporated. After US markets closed on 2nd October, Alphabet replaced Google as the publicly traded company that will house Google's search and web advertising businesses, Maps, YouTube and its moonshot ventures such as driverless cars. Google's Class A shares and Class C shares will automatically convert into the same number of Alphabet Class A shares and Class C shares and start trading on the Nasdaq from Monday. The ticker symbols will not change. India's foreign reserves plunge by over $2 billion. India's foreign exchange reserves declined by $2.04 billion to $349.97 billion in the week ended September 25th. Official data showed on 2nd October, the reserves had risen by $631.5 million to $352.02 billion in the previous week and at September 18. The reserves had augmented by $2.35 billion to $351.38 billion in the week ended September 11. 
Venus Williams wins Wuhan Open. Venus Williams won her second title of the season at the Wuhan Open in central China after Gaben Muguruza retired in the second set. Williams took the first set and was then handed the title by the Spaniard after 53 minutes, three points into the second set. Jordan Spieth voted PGA Tour Player of the Year. American World No. 1 Jordan Spieth was named as the PGA Tour's Player of the Year after a stellar 2014-15 campaign highlighted by two major victories among his five wins. The 22-year-old landed the coveted honor after clinching the first two majors of the season the Masters and US Open before finishing one shot out of a British Open playoff in July and being runner-up at the PGA Championship in August. Dr. Anup K. Pujari has been given additional charge of CMD of sale. Dr. Anup K. Pujari assumed additional charge as the Chairman and Managing Director of Steel Authority of India Limited. October 2, International Day of Nonviolence The International Day of Nonviolence was observed on 2 October 2015 across the world. It was celebrated to mark the birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi a pioneer of the philosophy and strategy of nonviolence. The International Day of Nonviolence was created by the United Nations by a resolution of the General Assembly on 15 June 2007. PM Nahandra Modi inaugurated country's first solar-powered district court. Nahandra Modi inaugurated country's first solar-powered district court in Kunti, Jharkhand, making an appeal to stop wastage of electricity. The Prime Minister said that like solar energy, we also need to focus on energy conservation. He added that India will be successful in achieving the target of 175 gigawatt of clean energy by 2022. Senior Mirza and Martina Hingis win Wuhan Open title. Ace Indian tennis star Senior Mirza continued her superb run with Swiss partner Martina Hingis as the duo clinched its seventh title together by winning the Wuhan Open women's doubles trophy on Saturday. T. He top seeded pair eased past the Romanian team of Irina Camelia Bigger and Monica Nikolscu 6 2, 6 3 in the title clash. At 17,600 feet, DRDO sets up world's highest terrestrial research center. Defense Research and Development Organization established the world's highest terrestrial center at 17,600 feet above sea level at Chainla, near Pengong Lake in Ladakh. The center will serve as a natural cold storage for preserving rare and endangered medical plants for generations to come. The center was inaugurated by Director General, DRDO Dr. S. Christopher. Three scientists share Nobel Prize for Medicine for work on parasitic diseases. The Nobel Prize for Medicine has been jointly awarded this year to three scientists for their work on parasitic diseases. Half of the award goes to Ireland's William Campbell and Japan's Satoshi Mora, who discovered a new drug to treat infections caused by roundworm parasites. The other half goes to China's Yui Utu, who used traditional herbal medicine to find a new kind of anti-malarial agent. 26th edition of COPAT between India and Indonesia began in Andaman Sea. The two-day inaugural India-Indonesia bilateral maritime exercise is scheduled from 17 October to the 18th of October 2015 in the Andaman Sea. The two navies have been carrying out coordinated patrolling along the international maritime boundary line twice a year since 2002 with the aim of keeping this vital part of the Indian Ocean. Neutrino scientists win Nobel Prize for Physics. Japan's Takaki Kajita and Canada's Arthur B. McDonald won the 2015 Nobel Prize for Physics for their discovery that neutrinos have mass, the award-giving body said. The discovery has changed our understanding of the innermost workings of matter and can prove crucial to our view of the universe. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences said in a statement awarding the 8 million Swedish Crown Prize. India and Germany sign 18 MOU India and Germany on Monday signed a deal to fast-track business approvals, an arrangement to make it easier for German companies to operate in Asia's third-largest economy that was announced as Chancellor Angela Merkel visited New Delhi. The fast-track approvals process will ensure that German firms will have a single point of contact in the Indian administration 
helping them to navigate a web of red tape that often thwarts business initiative. The agreement is the first of its kind and comes as Prime Minister Nahandra Modi seeks to attract foreign investment in support of his Make in India drive to boost industrial investment and create skill jobs. India and Germany also agreed to enhance ties in key areas of defence manufacturing, trade, intelligence and clean energy during wide-ranging talks between Prime Minister Nahandra Modi and German Chancellor Angela Merkel hereafter which 18 MOU were inked. Jack Dorsey appointed as permanent CEO of Twitter. Microblogging site Twitter has appointed its co-founder and interim chief executive officer Jack Dorsey as permanent CEO for second time. He will succeed Dick Kostlo who had resigned in June. 2015 after serving to this top post for five years. With this new appointment he will cease to be chairman of the board of Twitter but will continue to serve as a member of the board. Earlier from May 2007 to October 2008, he had served as Twitter's president and CEO. He was also the chairman of the board of members of Twitter since October 2008 and has been a member since May 2007. China won 2015 FIBA Asian Basketball Championship. China on 3 October 2015 won the International Basketball Federation Asia Championship by defeating the Philippines by 78-67 in the final. The victory has won the nation a direct qualification for the 2016 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. Brazil. Yi Jianlian scored maximum runs and earned 15 rebounds. He was also selected as the most valuable player of the tournament. Sergi Karjakin wins 2015 World Cup Chess Championship. Sergi Karjakin of Russia has won 2015 World Cup Chess Championship held at Baku, Azerbaijan. In the final match he defeated Peter Fiddler by 6-4 score. The title of this championship was decided in the tiebreakers after both competitors had won two classical games each. He is Ukrainian-born Russian chess grandmaster and chess prodigy. He holds the record for being world's youngest chess grandmaster at the age young of 12 years and 7 months. Kajakin has won the World Rapid Chess Championship, 2012, twice Norway Chess Tournament, 2013, 2014, and Chorus Chess Tournament. Svetlana Alexevich wins Nobel Prize in Literature. Svetlana Alexevich, a Belarusian journalist and prose writer, won the Nobel Prize in Literature on Thursday for her polyphonic writings, a monument to suffering and courage in our time, the Swedish Academy announced. Miss Alexevich, 67, is the 14th woman to win the Literature Prize. Born to a Belarusian father and a Ukrainian mother, in what is now Ivano-Frankivsk, Ukraine. Miss Alexevich is best known for giving voice to survivors of the Second World War, the Soviet occupation of Afghanistan that lasted from 1979 to 1989, and the Chernobyl nuclear disaster of 1986. Union Cabinet approved construction of National War Memorial in Delhi. The Union Cabinet on 7 October 2015 approved the construction of National War Memorial and a National War Museum at Princess Park near India Gate. Delhi in memory of all Indian soldiers who have made the supreme sacrifice for the country post-independence. Cyclist Deborah Herold became first ever Indian to win five medals at Taiwan Cup. Indian cyclist Deborah Herold in the first week of October 2015 bagged one gold, three silver and one bronze medal at the 2015 Taiwan Cup held at the Senchu Velodrome, Senchu City in Taiwan. With this, she became the first ever Indian cyclist to win in women's elite section. Deborah fetched the gold medal in Taiwan Cup Track International Classic I by defeating the Malaysian top rider. On the other hand, she ended on second place in the Kairun event on 500 meters time trial. China launched the first phase of China International Payment System. China on 8 October 2015 launched the first phase of China International Payment System a milestone in bolstering Yuan's global usage and furthering cross-border clearing of its currency from the Chinese mainland instead of offshore centers abroad. The launch of the SIPs was expected to boost the Shanghai Free Trade Zone launched in 2013 as a testbed for new reforms. Developed and administered by the People's Bank of China, 
SIPS enables market participants outside China to clear yuan transactions with their Chinese counterparts directly from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. World Egg Day observed on the 9th of October 2015. World Egg Day was observed on the 9th of October 2015 as it is being celebrated every year on second Friday of October as per the directives of International Egg Commission. Celebration of this day gives a unique opportunity to help propagate the nutritive value of eggs in human nutrition. It also helps in increasing egg consumption which is the main source of protein. On this day to promote awareness about the nutritional value of the egg, National Egg Coordination Committee is conducting several programs and campaign. Veteran music director Ravindra Jain passed away. Renowned music director and lyricist Ravindra Jain passed away on 9 October 2015 following a multiple organ failure in Mumbai. Maharashtra. He was 71. He is survived by his wife and son. He started his singing career at a very tender age by reciting bhajans and poetry at temples. He began his musical journey in Bollywood in the 1970s. Since then, he has composed music for almost 150 movies apart from working with Saga films for their television series. The 2015 Nobel Prize in Economics awarded to Angus Deaton. Angus Deaton, a British economist, has won the 2015 Nobel Prize in Economics for his analysis of consumption, poverty, and welfare. Hamilton wins Russian Grand Prix, closes in on F1 world title. Lewis Hamilton has won the Russian Formula One Grand Prix in Saki taking a massive step toward winning the driver's championship in the process. Russia's Daniel Kvyat managed to finish in the points as he claimed sixth place. Starting second on the grid, Hamilton took advantage of his Mercedes teammate Nico Rosberg's early crash to move into the lead. The 30-year-old Briton never looked back as he cruised to victory ahead of Ferrari's Sebastian Mettel. In winning for the second successive year in Saki, Hamilton passed the legendary Ayrton Senna's record of 41 wins. The Briton was delighted and honored to have surpassed his hero's achievement. Novak Djokovic defeated Rafael Nadal to win 2015 China Open men's singles title. Novak Djokovic on the 11th of October 2015 won the China Open men's singles title by defeating Rafael Nadal of Spain. In the summit clash held at the National Tennis Center in Beijing the top-seeded Serbian overpowered Nadal by 6-2, 6-2. For Djokovic, it was the fourth consequent win in Beijing and the fourth consequent title since 2012. Overall. He is the only player to have won the title six times. His other two titles were in 2009 and 2010. In 2015, Djokovic joined Roger Federer and Rod Laver as the only men in the Open era to reach all four major finals. His only defeat came in the final of the French Open against Stan Wawrinka of Switzerland. Indian shuttler Ajay Chiaram won 2015 Dutch Open men's singles title. Ajay Chiaram of India on the 11th of October 2015 defended the 2015 Dutch Open men's singles badminton title. In the summit clash held at Amir in Netherlands, the world number 26 ranker defeated Estonia's Raoul Must by 21-12-21-18. Jayakumar takes over as MD and CEO of Bank of Baroda. P.S. Jayakumar, the former chief executive of VBHC Value Homes, on Tuesday took charge as the new MD and CEO of the state-owned Bank of Baroda for three years. P.S. Jayakumar, 53 has taken over as the chief of Bob at a time when the bank is under the investigation glare for an alleged fraud and black money transactions worth over Rs 6,000 crore. Veteran filmmaker Rai V. Sassy honored with J.C. Daniel Award. Renowned Malayalam filmmaker Rai V. Sassy on 12 October 2015 was awarded with the prestigious J.C. Daniel Award for the year 2014 for his contributions towards the Malayalam entertainment industry. Sassy has made over 150 Indian films in various languages and genres. However, he is mostly known for his South Indian films. Jamaican writer Marlon James won the 2015 Man Booker Prize for Fiction. Jamaican writer Marlon James on 13 October 2015 won the 2015 Man Booker Prize for Fiction for his novel A Brief History of Seven Killings. With this, 
James became the first Jamaican author to win the prize in its 47 years of history. James was honored with the prize money of 50,000 euros, a trophy and a designer-bound edition of his book. He was also awarded with additional 2,500 euros for being shortlisted for the prize. Portugal became the first European country to sign the Muon establishment of Nalanda University. Portugal on 9 October 2015 became the first European country to sign the Memorandum of Understanding on the establishment of Nalanda University. The MU was signed in New Delhi by Portuguese Ambassador to India Ani Martino and Dr. Jaitendranath Misra, the Ambassador of India to Portugal. With this, Portugal became the 17th country overall and the fourth outside the East Asia summit to do so. Nepal elects first woman as parliament speaker. Nepalese lawmakers today elected the country's first woman speaker of parliament following formation of a new government after promulgation of the constitution. Sekhith Minnai wins 2015 Vietnam Open Tennis Trophy. India's ace tennis player Sekhith Minnai has won the 2015 Vietnam Open Trophy. In the summit clash which lasted for one hour and 27 minutes he defeated Australia's Jordan Thompson by 7-5. 6-3 score. It was Sekhith's first singles ATP challenger title of the 2015 season. It was also overall his second singles title at the challenger level. Earlier he had won the indoor open. Novak Djokovic won 2015 Shanghai Rolex Masters tennis title. World number one ranking Novak Djokovic on the 18th of October 2015 won the 2015 Shanghai Rolex Masters tennis title in the men's singles category. To clinch the title, the top-seeded Serbian player defeated Joe Wilfried Tsonga 6-2, 6-4 in the final match held in Shanghai, China. It was the third Shanghai title for Djokovic in four years having defeated Andy Murray and Juan Martin Del Potro in the 2012 and 2013 finals respectively. NATO launched military exercise Trident Juncture in Italy. North Atlantic Treaty Organization allies and partner nations on 19 October 2015 launched the alliance's Trident Juncture military exercise at the Trapani Air Force Base in Italy. Trident Juncture will end on 6 November 2015. The three-week-long intensive training involves 36,000 troops from more than 30 nations across Italy, Spain and Portugal. Sekhith Minnai wins 2015 Vietnam Open Tennis Trophy. India's ace tennis player Sekhith Minnai has won the 2015 Vietnam Open Trophy. In the summit clash which lasted for one hour and 27 minutes he defeated Australia's Jordan Thompson by 7-5, 6-3 score. V. K. Malhotra appointed as head of the All India Council of Sports. The union government on 19 October 2015 named veteran sports administrator V. K. Malhotra as the president of the All India Council of Sports. Bank of Baroda first PSU bank to join Child platform. Bank of Baroda has become the second bank after HDFC Bank to join the Child payment platform which enables peer-to-peer -peer payment through a mobile application. Only those whose banks are integrated with Child can use the application for remitting funds. However, customers of any bank can receive funds using Child. This app is presently made available on Android platform for fund transfer and will be made available for iOS and Windows platform shortly. Abdevilliers named brand ambassador of MRF tire manufacturing giant MRF Limited on the 20th of October 2015 named South African batsman Abdevilliers as its brand ambassador as per company norms. The association is for a period of three years. Abde Villiers, the OD captain of South Africa team, in his new role will endorse the company's products and services through advertising campaigns and other such promotional programs during the term of the agreement. RBI issued direction on implementation of Gold Monetization Scheme 2015. The Reserve Bank of India on the 22nd of October 2015 issued a direction to all scheduled commercial banks on implementation of the Gold Monetization Scheme 2015 notified by the Union Government. The RBI issued the direction to banks in exercise of powers conferred on it under Section 35A of the Banking Regulation Act. 1949. The GMS 2015 will replace the existing Gold Deposit Scheme. 1999.
Himachal Pradesh to host India's first paragliding World Cup. India's first paragliding World Cup has begun at Babiling near Bajnath town in Kangra district of Himachal Pradesh. Snow Leopard is the official mascot of this World Cup. It is for the first time that paragliding World Cup is being organized in a South Asian country. Union Civil Aviation Minister Ashok Gajapati Raju flagged off the event. First World Indigenous Games begins in Palmas, Brazil. First World Indigenous Games has kicked off in the northern Brazilian city of Palmas. The lavish opening ceremony of the multi-sport event was attended by Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff. The first of its kind international multi-sport event will involve around 2,000 indigenous athletes belonging to different indigenous ethnic groups from 30 countries. Participants from countries like Ethiopia, Brazil, Mongolia, Australia, Philippines, Russia, Ethiopia and New Zealand are participating. Indian origin Ashok Alexander Sridharan sworn in as mayor of Bonn in Germany. Indian origin Ashok Alexander Sridharan on the 21st of October 2015 sworn in as the mayor of Bonn in Germany. Bonn is the 18th most populated city in Germany and the provisional capital of erstwhile West Germany. Sridharan was elected to the office as a candidate of the German Chancellor Angela Merkel-led Christian Democratic Union of Germany (CDU) party in an election held in September 2015. Western Digital to buy SanDisk for 19 billion US dollar. Western Digital Corporation on the 21st of October 2015 announced that it entered into a definitive agreement with SanDisk Corporation to buy it for 19 billion US dollar. Both the multinational corporations, MNCs, are based in the USA. The acquisition is expected to pave the way for utilization of complementary product lines of both the companies and will provide the foundation for a broader set of products and technologies from consumer to data center. World Polio Day observed globally. World Polio Day was observed on the 24th of October 2015. The day was observed to create awareness about the hazards of the crippling disease. The day was established by Rotary International over a decade ago to commemorate the birth of Jonas Salk, who led the first team to develop a vaccine against poliomyelitis. Abhishek Verma became first Indian to win silver medal in Archery World Cup Final. Indian archer Abhishek Verma the 24th of October 2015 created history by winning a silver medal in the Archery World Cup Final medal in the compound section held in Mexico City. With this, he became the first ever Indian to bag Archery World Cup Final medal. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton won 2015 Formula One United States Grand Prix title. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton on 25 October 2015 won the 2015 Formula One United States Grand Prix title. It was the third title for Hamilton at the Circuit of the Americas in Elroy, Texas of the USA where championship is being held annually. China launched third mapping satellite of Tanhu I-1 series. China successfully launched the Tanhu I-1C mapping satellite into its designated orbit from Jiaquan Satellite Launch Center in the northwestern province of Gansu. A Long March 2D carrier rocket carried the Tanhu I-1C mapping satellite blasts off from the launch pad. Deepika Kumari won silver medal in Archery World Cup Final. Indian archer Deepika Kumari on bagged the silver medal in the Archery World Cup Final held in Mexico City. Kumari went down 2-6 in finale to South Korea's Chumisum. Currently ranked world number 5, Kumari clinched a gold medal in the 2010 Commonwealth Games in the women's individual recurve event. She also won a gold medal in the 2010 Commonwealth Games in the women's team recurve event along with Dola Banerjee and Bombiala Devi. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton won 2015 Formula One United States Grand Prix title. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton on 25 October 2015 won the 2015 Formula One United States Grand Prix title. It was the third title for Hamilton at the Circuit of the Americas in Elroy, Texas of the USA where championship is being held annually.